we are born in the latter age of the Dharma, Mappo. Situation is different. More convenient uh, uh, society, human societies, and very busy. And such a lots of uh, uh, busy society, lots of information. It is difficult uh, to, to take uh, away uh, Buddha did. So therefore, the Buddha left the teachings. So he thought, no need of future Buddhist. had the same suffering Buddha did. So Buddha left the teachings. But the teaching, two type, step by step comes up. And the other one, experience, take up some place and then guide up final direction like that. So Lotus Zui Tai is a teaching of experience, temporary teaching. Because uh, everyone's uh, people's uh, capacity is a uh, difference the difficult. But now, Lotus Sutra, Zuiji, he left. This is a uh, included Zui Tai. And then, additionally, Buddha's true mind, he expounded in the Lotus Sutra. So therefore, we should uphold Lotus Sutra. This means uh, uphold eternal Buddha and Chanta Odaimoku and then Kaidan. This is a place to achieve, uh, to, co to continue above two. So therefore, this temple is a Kaidan place to share Nichiren Shu Buddhism, teaching of Lotus Sutra, and encourage each other, help each other, and in order to keep a face action uh, in individual place. And if you keep a face action, in your place, you will see some mark, some sign of enlightenment. So you have to pay attention and then think, is this teaching from the Eternal Buddha? Try to think that way. And then you will receive a Buddha's message, one by one, and then your Buddha nature grow, and then we will achieve enlightenment. This is not just a story, because Nichiren Shonin, he did, actually. He was a good example for us. So, through face action every day, we cleanse our mind, body, mouth, and then continue whatever you like, your job, your study. 
So you are not a minister. You are not going to be minister. You are lay person. Even lay person, you can attend enlightenment. If you uphold honmon no honzon, honmon no daimoku, because uh, automatically you obtain virtues, merit. That merit means cleansing your bodies. So this is a Michiren Shonin's message. Enlightenment uh, means uh, we can achieve enlightenment through daily practice and experience. No, sorry, experience. Because uh, when we today we study like this, this is a uh, uh, lecture. But uh, we cannot uh, attend enlightenment uh, like if keep this like this because uh, point of enlightenment experiences action not sitting on the floor and meditate that is Buddha's enlightenment our enlightenment take action with upholding a honmon no honzon, honmon no odaimoku. And then we can obtain enlightenment. What kind of enlightenment? It is very difficult to disguise because of even Shariputra, number one disciple of the Buddha, in chapter 2, the Lotus Sutra, Shariputra asked the Buddha, Buddha, please tell me, what is enlightenment? But the Buddha said, stop. No, Shariputra. Your good disciple, but even you, cannot attend, cannot uh, understand uh, my enlightenment. This means uh, undescribable with words. Only we can understand uh, through experiences, action. For example, when you visit a beautiful place, Beautiful landscape, oh, so beautiful. Blue sky, mountains, and the rivers. So, you moved, wow, oh, so good. And then, return home, after return home, you describe the scenery to your mother, or brother, or sister. They can listen. Oh, I see. That's good. But uh, they cannot uh, imagine the beautiful scenery exactly. Just listening and then image. Like this, enlightenment uh, is uh, difficult to describe with words. Only you can realize, you can, you can be realized and enjoy through your experiences. Okay. So, therefore, once again, Nichiren Shonin established, organized three Honmon no Honzon, main gate of uh, the Buddha, main gate of the lot, uh, Odaimoku, main gate of the place for practicing and studying.
at age 55, 59, uh, 58, before I uh, passed away, uh, three years uh, before he passed away. That means uh, Nichiren Shon really wanted to uh, transmit this concept of enlightenment to future Nichiren Shu Buddhist or future Buddhist. He cannot, he, he don't want to die without an explanation of this one. That is Nichiren Shon in the conclusion of his enlightenment. Okay, so three, upholding three. Very simple, but uh, actually taking action is not so easy. But uh, not impossible, possible. So therefore, um, every day, why we have to chant? Because of purify our body in order to approach enlightenment. We need a preparation uh, for our body and mind, mouth, to experience enlightenment, actually. So, please uh, remember, once again, three, tra three hidden treasures, especially two. Eternal Buddha, main gate of Buddha, main gate of Odaimoku. Chant every day with your mouth, mind, body. And then after chant, go to job or school and enjoy job, work, and school, whatever you wish. Buddha guide you and sometimes give you some hint and answer. Pay attention. If so, some happening is not uh, accidental. All the time, uh, some meaning included. Sometimes you have to um, think what is wrong. Am I, am I wrong or I'm right? You might think like that. But uh, try to keep positive. But um, must not be arrogant. If uh, we become arrogant, we cannot listen someone's advice, means Buddha's a hint of enlightenment. Be humble and then keep uphold Gohonzon, eternal Buddha, and Odaimoku.